I think this is a pretty decent hand because we have so much removal and their deck is going to rely a lot on Tatsunari. So if we can keep killing him, we we might be okay. They're down to six. Okay. We might have a chance if they mulligan. We'll see. Blitz. Blitz for two mana. Yeah. Okay. I will go with the Lannery Storm. Shove aside synergy. Well, it's not a synergy. It's just I think the best use of the mana there. Anything to slow them down. Also, we have two more removal spells here, so I think we're going to be okay. But yeah, the format... Having played Arena and Magic for so long now, I've kind of dissolved the format into basically... You go first, you win, and then... Like, you kill your opponent's commander a couple of times and you win. It really is that simple. I mean, it is to me because I've played so much, but if you're ever wondering how to make effective decks, sadly, it, it is quite simple, and that's why people just copy a lot of popular OP decks. So, not this one. People won't... Th this video won't get many views compared to, you know, if LVD or CGP goes makes an attracts video. But the point is, I like to do things a bit different here on the channel. So, you know, liking and subscribing to this channel really helps gets me out there and it doesn't just do that it permeates the the view that it's okay to use different decks otherwise if only the the, the big people get seen then you will always just have a nightmare the queue will always be full of horrendously powerful decks that's a given because it's too late now the the system's kind of broken but yeah there you go kill i think every turn have a threat, hitting every turn, and that's how you win it, magic. I wake up to the sounds of the silence that allows for my mind to run around with my ear up to the ground. I'm searching to behold the stories that are told when my back is to the world that was smiling when I turned. Tell me you're the greatest, but once you've done the hate Hello, welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to celebrate just Arcane and the character of Vi from Arcane because I've been re-watching the series, season one, in preparation to see season two, but I've heard it's really good, so I wanted to just get back into it again. But I really wanted to kind of make a deck that fit the theme of Vi as much as possible. I think Jax as the Troublemaker really fits the bill. I mean, visually, she's pretty close, but then when you combine her with Brass Knuckles, you pretty much got yourself Vi, and the flavour is pretty epic. Uh, Jax has plus Brass Knuckles, smacking people in the face. I mean, it, Brass Knuckles doesn't necessarily fit what she wants to do. She wants to create clones of creatures, which is, um, you could say it's like her recruiting a posse, a team of people gathered together to, to take people down. But her ability is just really good with the ETB creatures. We've got another couple of flavorful pieces in the deck, which will just kind of make you feel a bit sad. Uh, you've got Bitter Reunion, which... I mean, not the artwork, but just the idea of a bitter union with her and her sister is kind of, you know, it's a bit heartbreaking, really. You also have, um, I did have it in, but cathartic. You could also have cathartic, oh, I can't even spell, reunion. These two went together. I oh, know, because I've got the filter on the wrong way. Oh, my goodness. re you me i on reunion. Yes, you could also have cathartic reunion. I did think it was a bit too much. Uh, a stuff that you didn't really want to be doing in the deck too much because also if people counter the spell you you actually lose the cards which makes this card a bit sucky compared to bitter union because this is a triggered ability when this happiness comes in then you discard so just be careful with abilities like this anything that says as a cost discard depending it's a blue player you can get blown out but yeah you can put cathartic union as well and there's lots of other flavorful things that you could probably find but i just thought it'd be a nice way to kind of make something as close as possible i mean we had a few arcane cards in the secret lair but that was kind of before secret layers were big and there weren't any unique characters in that set who knows maybe we'll revisit it given how successful it is but yeah it's just a really cool mono red build with a few etb things along the way there's so much haste in the deck you have to have haste because for, for a four mana card that doesn't really do anything you really have to push that damage output and the copying output out there so the best haste neighbors in the game crashing drawbridge gives all your creatures haste by tapping it we also have tuk tuk rubble fort gives all your creatures haste 
We have Reckless Stormseeker, Rising of the Day. And uh, we have Enduring Courage. There's quite a few. Because if you play her and the opponent kills her, it feels really bad. It's such an aggressive format, guys. It's it's a lot harder to make flavorful decks than I'd like it to be. I think in the old days, it was a bit easier because it's just a small card pool. But now the card pool is so crazy big and the power level is so high. It's You just have to sacrifice flavor for it power. But I hope you can appreciate what I've tried to do here. It's yeah, it's just a bit of fun, guys. So hopefully you enjoy it. Don't forget to like the channel. It really helps. Liking the channel is the best thing you can do that costs you absolutely zero. If you want to support me more than that, then check out my links below to Patreon and Ko-fi where you can support the channel that way. And it really helps because it takes a lot of time to make these videos, frankly, and develop them and play test them. And uh, yeah, just hope you appreciate that. Let's get into today's gameplay videos. This is going to be a super tough matchup because once we kill one of their angels or humans if they get to big mana they're going to be able to just cheat stuff out i think a while back people used to say that mono white was the hardest deck to build but i i kind of think it's mono red because red struggles to deal that damage to huge toughness creatures seven toughness that is pretty much impossible I feel like they've got a spell that's... I don't know. They've got pro they keep getting priority for stuff. Okay. I think we'll get rid of Zenith Chronicler and a Mountain here. Because the Chronicler is going to be utterly useless against a mono deck. But against multicolor decks, this is incredible just to let you draw more cards. So keep an eye on that card. Reckless Storm Seeker, okay. I really don't want to give them any cards. So I'm going to hold off playing the File of Galadriel. Although I think the file is going to be excellent in a mono red deck where we run out of cards, so it lets you draw two cards rather than the one you normally draw, which is just excellent. But we'll see. Ooh, Lelia as well. Oof. And this flipped. Excellent. Which one do they want to kill? They're going to kill Lelia. Okay. Fair enough. Down to 19. So in theory, we could play Jax's soon and then get a clone of it. They're going to draw... And gain a card. That's irritating. And they still have some kind of spell they're waiting to use. Perhaps we missed the land drop. Really, really sucks. I think I'm just going to go for the file here and give them a card. Because otherwise we're just not going to be able to play anything. They've really held us back. Combination of they've really held us back. But also our deck's just not giving us a land. And I say this all the time. We use 40 lands. Just happens. The bad luck. It just happens a lot when I'm playing. But yeah, once they get to seven, a mana with Bruna, I I don't really know how we how we win. Unfortunately, already is a vindicator. Oh my goodness! Make those. Okay, finally we drew. Something, what's I got? Ward 2, lifelink. They're just going to bloody resurrect it again, aren't they? Five, seven, two, three. I think we will just kill this because the lifelink is pretty annoying. Ward 2, pay that. Oh, God. Fine. I will pay. I, I just don't want... I'm just fed up of giving them cards, honestly. Come on now. We've got 15. This is a three-hit kill card. Come on, down to 10. I just had to get rid of the lifelink, guys. It's just too good. Five lands. Okay, this is getting... scary. Uh, plus two haste. Why have they got five mana up? It's so sus. Hmm. 
Hmm, what are they gonna do? Kill it? Solitude. The fact that it has flash is just crazy. Uh, we need a board wipe. Flash 3-2, lifelink removal. Oh boy. That is just crazy. We need we definitely need a, a board wipe now. Insanity. Mono White should not have access to this. <laughs> Especially we can play it for free. Anal Invala. Holy Christ. Gold Span Dragon. Mm, that's less good now. Okay, let's roll this. Three. We get a card back to our hand at random. Okay, I guess we'll play it then. Obliterating Bolt. Eh, uh, fine. Get rid of the lifelink, I think. Okay, so now we've got no cards in our hand, right? So we draw two with the file. Eh, uh, that's something. So which creature don't well they've only got one creature in the graveyard, so it's gonna be that I guess. It's every red plays nightmare facing a mono white life gain deck. Farewell. Oh that absolutely takes the piss. Wow. That is uh, that was an insanely timed farewell. I mean they lose their own synergy, I guess, but Gilded Lotus! Oh, why not? Why the hell not? I don't know how we get back from this. I guess we have to get a really fantastic uh, top deck. So we've got a big dragon or something. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, jeez. So they play the Bruna now. They've got nothing to bring back. I suppose that's a bonus. They did that themselves with the Farewell. We would have had so much juicy stuff. Immortal Sun. Right, okay. So they're going to draw more cards. And we're going to be able to not activate Planeswalkers, which is fine. We don't have any of those. Anna land. Cool. I'm just going to call it there. There's no way we can come back. Damn. Oh, magic. I think we keep this hand because Fire of Galadriel is, is weirdly amazing in this deck. Just lets you recover. When you have no cards, let you draw two. That's good. That's really good. Esper Sentinel. Yeah, we have some flavor with a bit of reunion. Let me up with Jinx. Tell me, by the way, in the comments below, who you think a good Jinx commander would be. Because I can't really think right now. Just got a card. Oh, I might have to be the Brass Knuckles, I'm afraid. It's too expensive. But yeah, who would be a good Jinx commander to oppose Jaxus? What is Jinx? Jinx? Maybe Jinx would be blue, although she is actually blue physically, but in terms of she loves tinkering and creating things. So that's certainly something to think of. 2 4. That's quite a bit of toughness. Storm's Wrath, though. Discard 2. 1. 2. Uh -oh, fine. So hopefully they play another creature next turn so we can kill that as well. But we'll see. We're, we're, we're not really <laughs> progressing much, are we? We're just putting stuff into the graveyard. Please play a creature. Or they could play a weak loyalty planeswalker. That would be fine. Oh, that's not a weak loyalty planeswalker. I thought it was going to make that into a 4 4 then. That would have been. That would have been literally the best scenario for me. Because then that would have been on low lo lower loyalty as well. Oh, they're not going to attack. They're scared. Oh, yeah, they can activate that for free because Tezzeret says so. 
Right. Okay, then. Well, I still think we do Storm's Wrath. Slow down a bit. And normally we can't use all the you use all our cards fast enough. Oh I could have actually blitzed into Tezzeret there. Would that should that should I have done that though? Because she would have been six mana. I don't know, to be honest. How do I take out a white blue control player with a mono red deck? That's drawing two extra cards a turn to look at. I don't think we can, guys. Though they're just Throwing some lines. Oof, white stone and weak stone. Blimey. Well, that's terrifying because they have bloody Urza now. Scorching shot, okay. Can we kill Tez? I mean, that's a start. Go for Draxus. Obviously, if they have a board wipe, that's very, very, very sad. Of course they did. Why wouldn't they? Oh. My God. Painful. Painful. Painfully predictable. Phyrexian Metamorph. Two Might Stone. Okay, well, they, one goes because it's a legend, isn't it? Right. Drawing more cards, why not? Brother's End, that's not very good. Goldspan Dragon. Goldspan Dragon. Two, three. Yeah. I mean, that's actually. That's fine. That's quite good, actually. Well, they're saying that maybe Burn Down the House was the wrong choice because it kills our dragon. Maybe it would have been better to have kept the scorching shot there. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm just thinking about when they go wide. Another board wipe. Okay, so it's just going to be one of those days, right? And the one ring. Oh, oh. you know, <laughs> I don't know what to do versus this. Case of the Crimson Pulse. That's kind of good. Helps us draw. And just discard a card, then draw to solve. You've got no cards in your hands. Thinking of your upkeep, discard your hand, then draw two. That's quite nice. So we'll get rid of the banana house and draw two. Ooh. Uh, I guess we can play Ragavan. And then, in the end step, we can just discard this, like this, to the Fomori Vault, and try and find a card. It's actually kind of good. This card. Look at the top X. Discard a card. Look at the top X. Where X is the number of you control. Put one of them into your hand, and the rest into the bottom of your library. Okay. So they just basically got Azorius removal. Which is just glorious. By the way, I don't think this is uh, any thing to really like. Facing a deck like this isn't a very good example of how fun this deck is. I still think the decks I build are fun. It's just the opponents I face are using literal cookie cutter copy paste decks with the one ring and everything. It's just this is such a broken card, and it's been nerfed. By the way, you know, the one ring has literally been nerfed, and it's still broken. So, so there you go. So they're untapping the one ring now. So they're drawing f multiple cards every single turn. Midnight clock. What could I possibly have that would actually help? I don't know. Nothing, I don't think. Oh, I wish you guys could see my face right now. It's uh, a ghast. Exiling all cards from graveyards. Okay, lovely. Right, let's discard this. 
me. Okay. What do we do? Solve at the beginning of your end step. Okay, fine. Uh, I guess we'll just do this. They can have another board wipe, aren't they? Three. So if we use this. Cast normally. Uh, she's got haste anyway. We're going to deal four if we use the bit of reunion. Oh well, that's still... F okay, it's fine. Take him down to one. You wait, they're going to have another board wipe. Or they're going to flip the Urza. Because they've got enough mana now, I think, to do everything they want to do, right? Search your library for an artifact and reveal it when you have. Oh boy. Paradox engine. I think this is where I just quit. Because they have the one ring, so they can draw the whole deck. Yeah, so if you don't know Paradox Engine, whenever they cast a spell, untap all their non-land permanents. And if they have lots of mana rocks, they basically can go infinite as long as they have a way to keep drawing cards and playing spells, which they do with the one ring. Um And they only take damage on their upkeep, which means there is no downside to continually untapping it, untapping it here, because they've drawn all these cards, but they're still only going to take four in the next upkeep, and that's if the one ring's on the battlefield. So it's unlikely that it's going to matter anyway, even if this goes to 18, um, because we'll probably die from whatever this is. They'll use Rivers Rebuke, whatever. Time Warp, extra turn. Okay. And then, yeah, they can play Urza and then flip him with the Might Zone and Weak Zone. So, yeah, that absolutely sucks. But there we go. That is, that is magic these days. All right, let's see how this goes. I've already mulliganed. This hand is far worse. But uh, the first hand was like five islands, uh, five mountains. Okay, fine. We've got more lands. We might be able to do this. Jerun Hazard gets free stuff out of the deck. It's pretty cool. Don't see it very often. Also, land tax when they're on the... Uh, on the play is just not that good. Especially because we're in more of a red deck. We're not going to have more lands than them. Jaxxus is a tough one, guys. <laughs> you have to really like the flavour. And I do. I do like the flavour. But, yeah, this is this is tough. Okay. Six mana. They're going to have three, four, five mana here. This doesn't have haste. Unless they have, what is it? One, uh, how many? As long as you have one or few cards in hand. Vigilance, haste, okay. So we've got five mana. Which means we can only do... One thing. That's annoying. Um... 4 damage to creature or plane talk, or 5 damage to creature. So this is not as versatile. Let's just get out of the way. And this is a lightning bolt as well, so... Uh, oh, no, we've got 6 mana, haven't we? Okay, fine, we'll play her. 2, 3, 4... Yeah, no, I think that's fine, because we have the trumpeting carnosaur. If we get to get a copy of that which is very unlikely we live in a, we live in an age of magic now where if your commander comes in and doesn't do anything it kind of sucks and that's where Jax just kind of sits what do you think for five and they've got five um, let's go for cough get ourselves some more mountains please we will retake this land from Phyrexia uh yeah let's go back to them 
So we have some decent stuff. We've got stuff that can make us last in the long game a bit, but... Skrell. Anne's Rags Rampage destroys all artifacts, then eggs on the top X, where X is the number of artifacts that we put into. Wow, they're killing their own ramp for that. Let's just get the mountain into our into our uh, field, I guess. So wait, you're telling me they played the Skrelv, and then they played the thing that destroys all artifacts. Is that a bit weird? Oh, you don't control. Okay. You don't control. That's really strong then. How many red cards say destroy all X you don't control? Wow. It's kind of cool. That makes it kind of excellent then, doesn't it? Are you serious right now? With haste. Try again. It can't end this way. What the hell? This card is crazy. <laughs> that is so crazy. It gives the creature haste. Um, I don't know what the hell flavor that is, guys. I honestly don't... So, okay. Okay, I think I get the flavor. So this is based on that big mole creature that's an 8-4. So the flavor is he's going on the ground. He's bursting into someone's, like, industrial complex facility... Is destroyed all of their stuff, all of their artifacts, and then, and then the creature with haste it represents him coming out from underground and just blowing stuff to smithereens. Okay, fair enough. And now we're giving them loads of lands because we now have more lands than which is kind of crazy. But right, I have to delay on the thunder trumpet. Trumpeting Carnosaur there, I think. Three, six. Let's kill the Skrelv. Because it's going to give that protection, isn't it, if we try and kill the Oketra? It's just all going horribly wrong, isn't it? But it's such a good start. Copy target instant. I am getting absolutely destroyed by random things that I haven't seen before. What? I'm never, ever, ever going to be able to use Jaxus, am I? I, f I feel like I'm never, ever going to be able to use this. Oh, it's, it's so annoying. Okay. I want to get one good copy off, if that's okay. Is that possible? Let's see. They didn't attack with... the Ketra. Oh my goodness. Honestly, this is going horribly, horribly wrong. Bloody hell. Is Drax's viable 1v1? I think the answer is... Oh! What's happening today, guys? Every time I try and make a fun deck. Every single time I try and make a fun deck. Oh my goodness. Did you know that you can help my channel by watching another one of my videos? Go ahead, you know you want to.